Before we went out on the catamaran, we of course had some boat work to do. The project for the day was the installation of a CDI mainsail reefing system. This will allow us to have a roller furling mainsail. I had to climb the mast multiple times in order to install the top bracket. I had to drill and tap holes for four screws and for one masthead bolt, which ended up being too long at first. Yep. I mean, it's nothing we can't replace. Yeah. Well, I needed to come down anyway, so. Oh, safety. While I was down, we installed the lower unit, which had obviously multiple screws on each side. Unfortunately, it's here that my memory card maxed out because I forgot to clear it the night before, so you won't be seeing part of the install. We also forgot the Nikon memory card that day, so we were really on a roll. Because of this, we missed filming us dropping the furling drum into the water, but I went out to go get it the next chance I got, and I made sure to get that on film. The water at the marina is shallow, but the bottom is what seems like endless muck, so I expected to have to dig through it for a while. I got fully geared up because of this, I didn't want any part of my skin showing. Uh, but it ended up being really quick and the drum was just laying on the bottom of the water and it took about two seconds to find as you can see. I was really happy about that. We were fortunate enough to be invited out for a Sunday sale on SV Unspoken. It's a brand new Fountain Peugeot Lucia 40, owned by Mike and Lauren. The wind was really light, but the parasailer went up and it flew great in about three to four knots of wind. If you're not familiar with what a parasailer is, it's pretty much a big spinnaker with a wing in the middle that makes it a little easier to handle. Mike wanted to 
get some shots of the parasailer from the dinghy, so since we were only sailing about one to two knots, we launched it and did just that. Trying to get it sideways. Mike and Lauren, and we're on their Fountain Peugeot Alusia 40, and we, we were fortunate enough to for them to invite us out, and they they they've actually uh, saw our channel and uh, wanted to meet up, and, and we uh, went for a day sale today, and it was yeah. a lot of fun. So I just wanted to ask them a couple questions. Um, they're actually starting their own little YouTube channel as well, so I uh, just wanted to ask them like what what got you guys into sailing, and what made you go out and buy a buy a cabaret? Right. <laughs> well, we got into sailing probably about a year and a half year ago. And a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lauren was racing the Pan American Championships in Canada uh, in cycling, which is what we do for a living. And uh, I was down here in Florida, and she landed. Uh, she was here for like three, four days, and I said, "Hey, I've got a great idea." And right away, she was like, "Uh." This is usually how everything bad happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so I was like, "Oh, come on, come with me." And so um, we drove down to St. Petersburg, and I wanted to show her this catamaran, Helia 44. I was like, "This is a beautiful boat. I'm gonna show it to you." And we never sailed before, so we don't know anything about sailing. And this was a year and a half ago, and so we came down to St. Petersburg, and uh, I bribed her with lunch, and uh, hopped on a boat, checked it out, and then right away a broker met up with us and showed us a couple different models, and uh, that got us talking about this model in particular. Awesome. awesome. And the boat name is Unspoken, if you haven't if you noticed. That's, they're, since they're cyclists, it's kind of yeah. it's, it's a cool name. So. Yeah, it's kind of a plan word, so it's like removing the spoke wheels, you know, and then the word Unspoken for a boat says it all. You know, it's, when you look at a boat, you don't have to really say anything. Yeah, definitely. So, what do you? What is um? What is y'all's plans for uh, for your channel for your your sailing? Uh, I guess uh, your sailing life, cruising life. I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> I had some big lofty yeah. plans, and uh, we just uh, spent about twenty six days on the boat, yeah. which was our first big trip on it, and we learned a lot. As we said, we're brand new to sailing, so we're literally a year into even taking sailing classes. Yeah, we did sailing classes here at uh, Sailing Florida and a year, a year, a year ago, yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 And then we learned how to sail then. And it was actually uh, David and Amy from uh, Starry Horizons. Um, yeah, I blame you guys for the predicament we're in now. <laughs> so their uh, they're, um, YouTube channel is Out Chasing Stars, I believe it is, yeah, Out Chasing Stars. And uh, they're, uh, they're in a Helio 44 catamaran, and I emailed with them back and forth, and you know, how do you like your boat? And we started chatting, and they were like, oh, so we love living on it, and circumnavigating, and everything else, and that planted the seed, and it started growing from there. And so that, of course, started the bucket list, yeah. but um, after doing coastal cruising in Florida for the past 26 days, I think uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna stick to coastal for right now, yeah. but we do have some big trips. We'd like to hit the Bahamas, and um, Cuba. Cuba is definitely one on, on my sure. upcoming list for sure. Yeah. So I think, I think for now it's, yeah, like Lauren said, coastal, hit the Caribbean, um, you know, a little later on. So we're not in a hurry to sell everything and move on to the boat. I don't think that's ever really our plan. So it'll be more just keep moving the boat periodically and keep going further and further as we get more confidence. You know, a year into sailing, we've learned a lot. Like we've had to deal with, during sailing classes, we dealt with Hurricane Patricia. And then sailing up here, um, we were actually at the, uh, at the docks when uh, Jason and Nikki were there with Gone with the Winds over at Just Catamarans. And so we left right before uh, Hurricane Matthew, and they stayed put, and we kind of raced away from it that Monday before. So 
big learning experience and having storms like that and waves like that and winds like that and the stress of it all, that's something that, you know, kind of makes you go, okay, like slow down, adjust your bucket list, get more confidence, make sure you know how to deal with stuff as it comes your way and then kind of roll from there. We're, we're also learning too, Florida has a lot of really cool places to go that you can only get to by boat and so we might as well take the opportunity to explore those places while we're here. Yeah, it gets taken for granted. Everybody thinks Florida, like, you know, you think Orlando, you think Miami, you think mm -hmm. Tampa, you know, but you don't. I mean, we spent a couple of days in the Everglades, and it was beautiful. Yep. I mean, it was just amazing. It didn't feel like you were in the U.S. or Florida at all. We didn't see a soul. We're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, amazing stars. So, I mean, it was, you know, yeah. there's places to explore, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. And their, their channel is uh, Sailing Unspoken. Right? You got it, yeah. Yeah, it's Sailing Unspoken. So. Thanks for watching guys. As always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We also wanted to thank Mike and Lauren for taking us out on their catamaran. Next week you'll see us finish the install of the CDI furler and hopefully put our rudder back on.